Hello dear friends, let's do some exercise. Decimals. Decimals. Exercise about decimals and the first one we will do fraction to decimal. Fraction to decimal. So the first one is uh, 5 over 2, the second one is uh, 15 over 12, the third one is, uh, uh, let's do uh, 36 over um, 27, uh, 27 over 36. I always say it in Chinese way. Okay, the first one we can see we just need to to do the division. And there it cannot be simplified. Do the division. Two divided by five zero at a point. I did not change any number because uh, after the decimal, you add any uh, zero, it's still the same value as long as there is no another number behind. So it's 0 0.4 and that's it. Okay, when you see fraction, fraction is another... Fraction means division. You see this line, it means divided by 15. The <coughs> um, numerator is divided by the denominator. The denominator is the dividend. Okay, so I do not know how to say it in English that much, but uh, whenever you see the denominator, it's used to divide, to divide into these parts. And now we see this fraction. Of course, you can use a, a calculator to do it immediately. But since doing with calculator is just not fun, it's very dumb to use calculator. As long as possible, this kind of number, you use calculator, shame on you. Okay, so <clears throat> do not use calculator. When you use calculator for this kind of simple math, you lose all the fun of math. And it's uh, so not, not cool. And we do it cool way. You can divide 12 divided by 15. And we see this is a, a fraction. And the fraction, first thing, whenever you see a fraction, simplify it. You do math. Math need to be elegant, beautiful. And this is just too much close. You need to put until pure it to the very bare minimum until it reaches to beginning stage. Beginning stage. Okay. So both are multiples of three. So we can divide it by three. And this one is four. 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15. Now we will do the division. 4 divided by 5, 0 0.5840. So the answer is 0 0.8. Now that is good. Okay, this one, 2 plus 7 is 9, can be divided by 9. 3 plus 6 is 9, is multiple of 9, so we divide by 9 to begin with. 3, so 3 divided by 4, 0. So the result is 0 0.75, right? Okay, we do some a little bit more complicated numbers. <coughs> this one. one. Two, three, nine 
18 divided by 8 and uh, 22 divided by 16 and uh, 35 divided by 80 okay so let's do the first one 19 and 8 there is no they have no commonality in between we just need to do it just do it so 18 divided by 9 Okay, so the result is and twenty-two divided by sixteen even number even number to begin with divided by two okay eleven divided by eight eleven divided by eight put a decimal point here decimal has a point put a decimal point here this is one okay <coughs> Uh, okay, we go back to the same trap and uh, so and this one we can do can be divided both by five, but uh, <clears throat> I like zero. If there is a zero, it is so much easier to do. So in this case, I want to make zero disappear. So divided by ten, and uh, if I divide by ten on the bottom, I need to divide by ten on the top. So I can change into 3.5 divided by 8. I did not change anything. It is still the equal, equal, <coughs> uh, equal value. It's a, a pair of identity. It's a pair of identity. Unconditional identity. Okay. So now we can do the division. 3.5 divided by 8 so the result is 0 0.34375 okay so just uh, whenever you see a fraction first thing make it to make it into the simplest form and uh, try to find a way to make it simple and easy make mathematic calculation easy okay now we will do some other exercise one divided by one thousand two fifty five divided fifty thousand three thirty eight divided by uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 16,000 okay so let's see the first thing first thing whenever you see zeros get rid of the zero and in, on top of zero this is one one divided by one is one 
So what I usually do in this case, I write down zeros before the the real digit, an integer, any zero you put before it, it's still zero because you didn't change value. I put this for the use of dividing this thousand. One, two, three, three thousand. It means I need to move my decimal decimal point to the left. Three, uh, three decimal or the three place value, a thousand. Originally, decimal point is here. I need to move one, two, three, zero. Originally here, one. Two, three. Okay, my decimal decimal point will travel. Go, 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 go until it reaches the number I read. It reaches the number of the zero. One, two, three. See? Go, go, go. One, two, three. Okay, I stop here. So the value will be zero point zero zero one. Okay. And this second one, on top and bottom, we can divide by 5 to begin with. 11 by 5 is 10,000. Okay, what do we do now? 11 divided by 1 is still 11. And we need, we need to, to move 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 0, move 3, 4 decimal point place. Okay. 11, I write down the result. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can write infinite, inf infinite number of zero. It still did not change value. The purpose of write so many, of course, you do not need to because you are smarter than me, right? Uh, <clears throat> The purpose is that you have enough room to later put on this uh, zero. Of course, you, you if you are good, you do not even need to. Oh, it's your job. Hmm? Oh, okay, uh, measure. So, <clears throat> originally, z decimal point is here. One, two, three, four. Stop. Now I need to stop. This decimal has a point and it has a very clear point. Stop here. So the result is 0 0.0011. Okay, that is the result. How good we are. Okay, this one is a little bit more complicated. 38 is an even number divided by 2 to begin with. So it becomes 19. And the 16,000 divided by 2 is 8,000. So what do we do? We need to do this calculation. So I can change it into 8 divided by 8. 1, 2, 3, 3, 0. On top, I need to move 3, 0. Now I'm becoming smarter, okay? There's no more point here. 1, 2, 3. So it will be 1, 2, 3. So 0 0.019 divided by 8. So the result will be 0 0.002375. Isn't it relaxing? You have to admit 
that uh, when you figure out math, math is such a beautiful, elegant, and relaxing activity. It is. I promise you will love it.